Hi there, Robin here. Welcome to this video. This video is having a, a little fun and playing around and not really being all that serious. I first off have to apologize in advance because here in Banos de Agua Santa in Ecuador, we're celebrating the Santa of the city, the Virgin Mother. And well, everybody's letting loose with the coronavirus being so heavy. So everybody means that we're celebrating and this means fireworks. So if you hear bangs or music or whatever, no, it's not the volcano to Nicaragua. It's my neighbor celebrating. So think happy thoughts when you hear the bangs. It's all good. I was wanting to play a little bit because I have been a little too serious. So I drew some fish. And for me, fish are easy. I can jazz them up with paint and pens to be even more interesting. So this is me fuffing about and chatting with you in normal time. I have found that every now and again I need to do this kind of thing because being lighthearted and having lighthearted art makes me happy and it changes my state. It kind of reboots my brain. So this is also the best time for me to try out some products that I was putting off or some techniques that I've also been putting off. <laughs> there you go. See, you hear people tootling about around out there. All normal, especially because it's a happy time and hopefully we're celebrating. So anyway, back to business. This is also the best time for me to try out new products and techniques because I'm really not all that invested about the outcome. I'm more invested about playtime, having fun, experimenting. It also makes me more resourceful in this time because I might be fixing things that I broke or in other words, kind of like I drew something and it didn't turn out the way I wanted it and how do I fix that? So I can put my perfectionist intentions to rest. I guess you could say I have all these ideas swimming about in my brain. Okay, you didn't like that one, right? I am doing sophisticated art. Okay, that was funny, right? Get it? No, sorry? Well, okay, I tried. I'm going to play and play and between Corona and life and what's happened in the world in response to all that stuff, this is what I need to do. Art for me in this case is about changing my state. And I, when I do this kind of thing, I fall into a meditative state. I go into the painting. Creating art for me is my safe place. It's where I fill up my cup again. I have not yet been successful in doing formal meditation. I kind of wander around in my head too much. Again, swimming ideas in my brain. Ha ha ha. Anyway, so many things go on in there. It's a very busy place, my brain. Um, art gives me focus, but not a heavy focus. And to be honest, when I'm in this meditative art state, it gets better the less I think about it. Hmm. I guess that's really not a compliment to my front brain. Or is it? I don't know. Anyway, I guess it's best sometimes that I just don't think. I just create and I get out of my own way. I guess what I'm trying to say is, for me, art is, is, the reason, is one of my places where I go to do my thing. Nope, I don't drink or anything else like that if you're interested in asking. And nope, I'm not interested in any of that either as my health would be affected, particularly my heart. So no, art is my drug anyway. And that works for me. I get high off art that works out and it and art that works out and pleases me. I get high off of doing a challenge and, and succeeding. Speaking of challenges, normally this time of year it is Inktober, but there is so much garbage around it this year and with all the other garbage floating around, I'm really not interested in adding more of all that stuff into my head. I'll probably do it another year, but I've done it three years in a row and it was time for a little bit of a change. I will do another art challenge in a little bit, but my big challenge right now is learning about video editing programs and playing with animation. I spent a lot of time last month getting up, getting that video up, and let's just say it was a huge, huge learning curve. I like the results, and yep, I would also change a lot with it, but such is life. So I'm working up for another animation, and that would be 
you know, more informative for the artist who travels or lives in other countries or wants to come here and wants to create. And I can't wait to do that, but it's going to be another learning curve. And I need to have my bucket full before I my energy all ready in place and ready to go. So I'm going to start playing and let it go. I like to go to the sea, and I really like getting my energy full there too. But right now, I'm not going to go to the sea. And normally, if I was, since being in Ecuador, I could go to Puerto Lopez, which I love, and it's beautiful there, and watch whales and things. Or I could go to Mampiche, which I also love. Or I would go to the BC coast where my heart sings. But I also don't want to go into the ocean right now because then I don't have to think about sharks and stingrays and stuff tickling my toes or nibbling on them. I, I was one of those kids that watched Jaws under the blanket and then I would leave the room to go to the bathroom and it get too scary because I'm a sissy. And right now that would just be too much stress. So this is my own safe little ocean and I'm having fun making it. One day soon, I will make other videos about art and living in Ecuador, just as a heads up and a plug in for reasons to watch for other videos in the future. Anyway, I have a couple of fishy playtimes here. First one is with Medin uh, watercolor and watercolor paper with pen and ink. And then the second one is with Strassmore tone paper, which I can't get here and had to bring in with pen and ink and then white ink also just for fun and adding more depth. It was a good mm, a good little plus on the gray tone or the tan tone paper because it really complements the idea of steampunk. And I love playing with steampunk. I love my fish being steampunk. I can just imagine, I don't know, the robot world of old fun and oh, I love steampunk, what can I say? I have to put the speed up a little bit or it for me is just too slow and I want to keep you engaged in this video. I want you to enjoy it too. I keep saying it's like watching paint dry, which it is, but if I put up the speed just a little bit, even though I know it looks like it's watching a Charlie Chaplin movie, it can be a little in more interesting. When I did art shows and other exhibitions, people would love to sit around me and watch it happen, watch it unfold. So watching art is, and in creation, in the movement of creating, is also meditative, and I get it. So I invite you to watch it and enjoy the process. I have to let you know in on something. When I was painting in front of crowds, at first I found it hard to do. I found it invasive, like people were peeking into my safe place. But when I found out that they just wanted to go to the safe place too, I found that people, what they would say to me would be really interesting and insightful. I found that people would find it nice to visit and calm down and just hang out. And sometimes in these shows it can get very busy and this was just a little safe place. I would paint and paint and paint and I would always do a, a painting from beginning to finish just for the art show. And people would come back and they'd watch it progress and they'd hang out and they'd go away and come back and hang out. And it was like they took a little a little break from life. So I want to give that to you as well. Of course, there were some goofy people there. But overall, for me, the people were really nice. And they just wanted to experience what it was like to be a creator too. And also that wonderful, what I said before, the safe place. So what I guess I'm taking the long way to telling you is and to come on into this video and become a part of the process. I'm going to put up a little music now, so just enjoy, and we'll talk with you for the next video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.